guys, it's O'Donnell here. Um, just want to make a quick video because I've had a lot of people asking why I left Kingdom 47 and um, I just really wanted to give a little uh, commentary on what all went down there and why I left. Um, so I'll just start from the beginning. Uh, when I first went into Kingdom 47, I joined an alliance called R.A.X. Uh, Rogue Avengers. The leader there is the mod of Kingdom 47. Uh, his name is Marshall, I think, or uh, I'm not sure, really sure how to pronounce it. But um, anyways, uh, I stayed there for quite a while, up to maybe Castle 17 or 18. I'm not sure. Um, but there was there was a problem in R.A.X. There was a lot of farmers, not many people fighting. Uh, at the time, I was the marshal of the alliance, so I was trying to teach these guys how to defend and reinforce and fight properly. And uh, there was a lot of drama in the R4 rank. So, anyways, um, at, at that point in time, Marsh, as we call him, he wasn't online a whole lot, so I offered to take over lead until he was able to have a little more time. And at this point, I was 100% dedicated to R.A.X. Had no foul intentions whatsoever. Um, he didn't want me to take it over, which was fine. Uh, he told me he shared leadership with another R4 that, at this point in the game, we had never met because she was never online. She had some uh, personal issues going on, whatever. Didn't hold any of that against her. It is what it is. So, um, with the direction it was going in, I decided to leave and start my own alliance. So I left and um, me and another person I used to play in uh, Kingdom 7 with uh, was with me as well. And when we left, we did what people typically do when they leave. You know, we asked the people that we related to in REX to join us. Some of them did, some of them didn't. Um, also at this time, there was uh, another alliance called NAT. Uh, I don't really remember who the leader of that was, but uh, a player that goes by Deeds, he was kind of the main guy in NAT at the time that I talked to. Um, but anyways, I uh, had talked to some other people there, uh, a guy named Tormin, a girl named Bree, and a guy named Doom. They were pretty much the biggest players in NAT, um, and they ended up coming over to my alliance with me as well. Which uh, kind of took away all the protection from NAT as a whole. Um, and when that happened, I had actually talked to both NAT and REX and convinced them to merge together. Or at least set the table for them to make that decision on their own. Uh, which they did end up merging, which kind of gave them a good, a good field of fighters and uh, still a few farmers in there as well. Um, so anyway... Uh, the only way I could get those three people, Tormund, Doom, and Bree, to join me in my alliance was to have let them have R4, which I didn't care. They had a lot of farms and stuff. It wasn't an issue. Uh, well, then the Turks and the Russians uh, pretty much started a war with the, bit, the main alliance of the kingdom, which was MPE. And um, the leader of that alliance was Sir Reem a lot, or as we called him, Reem. So, uh... I wanted to support them because me and Reem, we got along pretty well. You know, he was a really good player. He knew for the most part what he was doing. Uh, he led his alliance pretty firmly. And he was up against two different alliances. And um, they seemed to have more fighters. They didn't have more spenders. They just had more fighters. So anyways, um, I wanted to support them. I got a lot of backlash from the people that... I was, you know, that was in my alliance, so I left. I left my own alliance and went to MPE. Um, allowed them to have peace, and myself, I went to MPE so uh, I could help Reem out and Battle King and DWF, which are other big players in MPE. So, anyways, this war goes on with uh, mainly one guy, Sadar. He was a, a Turk and. He had found some way to get packs really cheap, and he was cheating, and anyways, throughout this whole war, uh, 
Battle King in particular <laughs> zeroed himself like three or four times trying to kill these guys. And they loved it because they would just set reinforced and they wouldn't take any losses and he would lose pretty much everything. But he spent a lot of money, so he just built back up. It wasn't a major issue for him, but it kind of showed that he was not uh, that smart, I guess you could say, as far as battle mechanics go. Anyways, fast forward months ahead. Uh, Saranimo, uh, or I'm sorry, Sadar, the one that started the war, he quit. Uh, a lot of the people quit. We kind of teamed up and zeroed them all out with uh, REX and KJ1, which was, you know, pretty fun time. You know, we zeroed out a lot of their guys and they quit and left. Uh, so then Saranimo, which was the last Turk really, really standing, he wanted to sell his Prestige 1 castle. At the time, I had a Castle 24. And I offered to buy it. Well, this guy gave me the login information and everything. And he was asking like $2,500 for a castle that was worth about a grand. So he gave me his login info. And I did a pretty shitty thing on my part, which I'll admit to. I zeroed his castle out. I deleted all of his troops and everything. Because <laughs> that's pretty much what I was told to do by Reem. He said, you know, just zero him out and we don't have any competition. Well, then I felt pretty bad about it, so I still paid Saranima. I paid $1,000 for this castle. I bought him $1,000 worth of packs in the original Clash of Kings, and I bought this P1. So, after that, I uh, was running the P1, rebuilding and everything. So, fast forward on to around the time I left, uh, Reem had said that he had some work that he had to get a security clearance for and he couldn't have contact with all these other countries whatever whether there's any truth to that i have no idea i don't know these people on a personal level so whatever he offered his p1 for sale for 300 bucks um now at this point i had left mpe and uh, i was actually you know we were already into plunder and stuff and i was helping out some of these uh spanish players because they they had decent castles, but they had no clue how to use them. They didn't know how to fight. They didn't know where to spend their money at. So I was helping them out and um, trying to help them grow, build their castles up, put their money where it's going to make a difference in their lord level and their VIP level. And uh, I convinced this Spanish alliance, which was uh, HIS, to merge with KIT, which is another alliance that we... Nobody in the kingdom really had anything to do with. They never got really any help from anyone. The only help they got was by me saying that Bloodlust, which is their leader, was a pretty good guy. So we didn't really mess with them. You know, we didn't attack them or zero them or anything like that. They just kind of chilled and growed. Um, but anyways, I convinced these two alliances to merge, fill up Kit a little more, give them some more bigger castles, and help them fight. Well, then at this point, I had messaged Marsh to, uh, he held one of the strongholds in the kingdom. KJ1 held another one, and MPE held two of them. So I messaged Marsh and asked him if he would share his stronghold so that I could help these guys grow. Because at this point, to me, it's all about plunder. You know, we're focused on making our kingdom stronger to fight off these guys that are coming in and trying to kill our shit. So, he told me no, and uh, he was all pissy and brought up everything about me trying to take his players in the past and killing this Turkish guy that was in his alliance, even though I had proof that he had given out coordinates and shit to our kingdom, to other Turks that were invading during plunder. So anyway, he gets all pissy and says no, so I used, uh, I leveraged my P1 against them during the Tower War, and we took their tower. Now, this is where shit gets interesting. So, I told him beforehand that we were going to fight for his stronghold, and he was fine with that. But uh, then when the, the Tower War came, there is a P3 in Kingdom 49, and his name is Nobody. Well, he randomly came into the kingdom five minutes before the stronghold and teleported 16 kilometers away from me and the stronghold. Now keep in mind, I have a peace shield on this entire time. 
everyone in my alliance has a peace shield on. You know, we're not taking the chance of an invader coming in because it is Durham Plunder. So he sits there, and all of the RAX castles are unshielded, just chilling. And he doesn't scout them, he doesn't attack them, he does nothing. He just sits there. So, at this point, I start questioning what he's doing. And I'm asking him in Kingdom Chat, and he said he's just there to get kills and so on. But he's not attacking anybody, he's just waiting for me to drop my shield so he can attack me. And he's already attacked me once before. I think the day before that I was in Kingdom 49. And uh, he almost zeroed me. Luckily I healed quick enough and he couldn't. But um, anyway, he's just sitting there. Well, the Tower War starts and he I guess he realized that I wasn't going to break my shield because I'm not some new player that doesn't know what he's doing. And he teleports straight to the alliance, my Alliance Hive. Um, well, Kit Alliance Hive. And starts hitting people there, hitting farms and stuff like that. And um, for one, I mean, it was immediate. He didn't have really have time to look and see where these guys are. He just, it was like somebody provided him the information. So, then I start questioning REX, asking, you know, did y'all ask this guy to come here and help you? Because that's pretty fucked up to have another kingdom come in and help you guys you know, fight for a tower because you're, you know, you're not going to win. So anyway, anyways, this guy hangs out for the majority of the tower war. And, um, then when he left, we ended up taking the tower. So anyways, this whole drama starts about whether REX had this guy come or not. And you guys can make your own decision on, on that. But when he came, I'll tell you what happened. He came to the tower. Then he went straight to kit hive then he went straight to KJ1. Then he went to Marsh, which is the leader of REX. And he attacked Marsh. And I was following this guy everywhere he went. And when he attacked Marsh, Marsh took zero power loss. He didn't lose anything from this attack. So that's when I started questioning Zombie, which is Marsh's girlfriend in the game or whatever you want to call it. And I'll show you what... Uh, her explanation was to that. And as you can see in this screenshot right here, she says, you know, if it makes you feel any better, Mars got zeroed. And I said, yeah, but I didn't see him take a power drop. And then her explanation was for that was that she spent $20 in his castle to rebuild his troops and put a shield up. Now this guy was like 2.4 million power. So if he would have got zeroed, most of his troops would have went in the hospital. He may have took a few losses. Um, but anyway, she said, you know, she spent 20 bucks, which had to be extremely fast because as soon as this guy attacked, I watched his power and it didn't move. So I'm, I'm guessing she spent $20 in preparation <laughs> for him to get hit. I really don't know how that worked out, but y'all can make your call on that. So anyways, um... He ports around to specific locations, hitting specific people. Then he leaves. We take the tower, and it starts this whole war thing, pretty much. Um, REX had threatened during the next weekend, uh, during kill event, that they were going to attack us, which at the time we wasn't worried about. And this is when Reem started selling his castle. So I'd offered to buy it for 300 bucks, And um, then but when the day came for him to sell it he had uh said that he found another buyer in rax which was deeds so i found another buyer which was a uh, zombie in mpe um and he offered him i think it was four or five hundred dollars he offered him more than the guy in rax but he refused he would not sell it to anybody except for rax whatever reason he had i don't know the only reasoning I got was that he wanted to see Kit burn because he had a personal issue with Kit. That was the only reason. So this guy that I've backed up this entire kingdom pretty much took a shit on me because he knows that REX wants to fight us. And not saying that his P1, it was slightly better equipment than mine, but it could, he couldn't have zeroed me either way. 
It wasn't going to affect me directly, but it would have affected everyone in that alliance except for a few people that were, you know, 10 and 12 million power. So, um, anyways, he he wouldn't he refused to sell it to anybody but REX. They end up buying it, and this whole weekend, REX hasn't done nothing. They haven't attacked us, and I told them I would not attack them because I didn't want war. I just wanted to share the stronghold. And during the next stronghold event, they could have the stronghold back, you know, just swap it back and forth every week. Well, um, the last day of kill event, when Reem sold his castle, he uh, came and attacked Kit before he left. He didn't really do a ton of damage. He hit like one or two castles. He went around and hit a few other people, and then he sold out. And then REX decided to attack the next day when they had possession of the P1. And I teleported to their hive and uh, right beside Mars. And I used the... Uh, emergency reinforcement so I couldn't be destroy ordered by MPE and um, I just sat in their hive. We attacked a lot of their farms and stuff, really didn't do any major damage and I wasn't exactly planning to, I was just you know trying to say hey if you're going to attack us I'm going to sit here and wait for you guys to slip up and drop your shield and then I'm going to hit you. So then Battle King, this freaking super noob uh, is now leading MPE, and um, whenever Reem had left, I had asked some of the people of MPE what they were planning on doing, because I didn't imagine anybody following this guy to do anything, because he doesn't know shit. So, anyways, um, he apparently found out about it. Big deal, I wasn't hiding it. I would asked them directly. So, he wanted to, I guess, zero me at this point. Now, before all this part with him started, um, I'd already bought a castle in Kingdom 40 with uh, War Machine. I had full intentions of going to Kingdom 40 anyway, and I was working on selling my P1 in Kingdom 47. The reason I went to Kingdom 40 is because War Machine and a lot of people there I used to play with in Kingdom 7. You know, I know these guys for a long time, and he's wanting to build a super kingdom with a bunch of spenders, so... I was jumping on board with that. We had people in other kingdoms wanting to come with us as well. So anyways, um, I end up selling out. And um, I'm in Kingdom 40 now. So that's basically what happened. Now, in the process of this, I will show you guys. Here is a conversation with Deeds. Me showing him about the whole P3 situation. And why I thought REX had had this guy come. And fight the tower war for him which is complete you know you just betrayed your entire kingdom by doing this and he specifically says i was told he was going to show up and marsh lost some troops attacking k49 zombie was zeroed by that p3 and she also talked with him but i don't see any reason he would help rex so he he knew that the guy was coming that night and he knew that zombie talked to him so that right there confirms it for me that she had him come. You guys can make your own judgment call on that. Um, this screenshot, I'll let you read it yourself, but it's just a little info. After uh, I'd left, Battle King and Reem tried to rub my name in the dirt to everyone in Kingdom 40. And this is just uh, another player in Kingdom 47. And he basically is just saying that uh, nobody respected Reem, and the only reason they did was because MP had all of the power, you know? I mean, there wasn't nothing anyone can do. Um, and here's another person in another alliance uh, that's speaking on Reem's judgment, saying that he's always stabbed him in the back. Uh, not so much MPE, but Reem directly, and he would always tell us one thing, and when it didn't suit him, he would do another. Um, and just saying they didn't have an issue with REX until the Stronghold event happened. Now, this is another thing. Um, this is Reem directly. If you just look at the very bottom of this conversation, it says, I'm going to zero zombie and 10 man then. 10 man just because he's zombie's friend. Now, there's two zombies, one in REX and then the one here he's talking about in MPE. Now, both of these guys are his own members. That he was going to zero just because he didn't like him. So, 
whenever he started rubbing my name in the dirt, I shared this to Zombie and Tin Man, which they weren't too happy about at the time, but I guess they got over it. They're still an MPE, so it is what it is. But I just want you guys to make your own judgment call uh, as far as that goes. You know, everybody uh, has a lot to say, but I have the screenshots to back it up. I didn't betray anyone in Kingdom 47. I honored everything that I said, and I didn't uh, really screw anyone over, you know. It all started because REX didn't want to share a stronghold that they abused anyway. They used it to level up one or two people in the Alliance and not help their smaller guys out. So in a nutshell, that's why I left. And uh, now <laughs> that they've tried to rub my name in the dirt to the people I've known for years, they have pissed them off, so... Kingdom 47, I look forward to seeing you guys when Plunder opens up for you because you've got some real shit coming your way. Thank you guys. Like and subscribe.